we are the best team in this league. And we're going to show it today by ground and pound and beating them into submission. They say, help me up. I say, hell no. Put your foot on their throat and don't take it off, even if they turn purple. Today is our day. Today is our day of reign of terror on this league. This is a dream that you can win. We are in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and this is LFL Football Night. Hello again, LFL fans around the world. My name is Chet Buchanan. He is the coach, Bobby Huco. And tonight, Bobby, a tale of two very different teams going in two very different directions. Absolutely, Chet. Chicago is the number one ranked team in the LFL. The defending champs, they have superstars firepower across the board starting at quarterback, the MVP, rock star Heather Furr, another solid year. And at running back, the conversation starts and ends with a Ferrari, Chris Dell Harris leading the league in rushing. But the story this year is the coach, Keith Hack. Yeah, he's got the superstars, but he always develops these players that didn't have a lot of experience, like Jessica Price, Neck of Nawani, and my favorite of all time, Dina Fagiano. She scores every time she touches the ball. This team is solid. Unfortunately, for the cheese head wearing very proud Green Bay Chill fans. The same cannot be said of their squad. They really miss their leader, their superstar, the quarterback, Ann Erler. She has retired, and the book on the rest of the team, it's not good. Out of shape, lacking commitment. At that point, then, you have to look at the coaching. So it begs the question, Gilbert Brown, will tonight be his final game as an LFL head coach, given the sad state of this franchise and this team? If Green Bay is going to have any shot at all tonight, they'll rely on the arm of their new quarterback, Jessica Payton, and on their standout wide receiver, Anna Hazeman. They'll need both of them to have big games. And of course, Payton and Hazeman, two standouts in a season that has been nothing short of a nightmare. So Chicago's looking for a playoff spot. Green Bay's looking to find some heart. We're ready to go here in Milwaukee. Let's crank up the lights, turn up the music, buckle the chin straps, let's go to war. Chicago and Green Bay, LFL football night. Your kickoff is next. LFL football night is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin as the Chicago Bliss are looking for a playoff spot. The Green Bay chill, just trying to find some heart. Chicago will get the ball first. That's Deandra Fry, ready to receive the kickoff from Danielle Lucci. And here we go. Fry at the five. She'll take the ball out past the 15 yard line, hauled down there by Laura Gellis Diaz. We're ready to go in Milwaukee, Bobby. Solid return by Fry. She's got some wheels. The Gunners for Green Bay did not get down there and tack the ball. Good return by Fry. Heather Rockstar Fur brings the Chicago offense out on the field. Rockstar Fur, she started out slow. In fact, Chicago started out slow. They tied Seattle, but they can lock up, as you mentioned, the all important playoff spot with a win tonight. The number one team in the LFL. Heather Fur leads the way. She's solid again, 10 out of 17, 82 rating. She was the league MVP last year. She looks good so far. She's getting better as the season goes along. The Chicago offense will start out at their own 19. Fur to the air. Flushed out now, she'll run. Heather Rockstar Fur out to midfield. That's what Fur gives you a quarterback. Nobody opened downfield. She tucked it, got a positive game. Now let's meet the Chicago offense. Kelly Jiskra, center. Nekawani, tight end. Dina Fagiano, tight end. Death Price, wide receiver. Dominic Collins, wide receiver. Ferrari Harris, the running back. Heather Fur, the quarterback. Chris Dell, Ferrari Harris, leading the league in rushing. I look for her to have a big game tonight. Heather Fur on second down. She'll go to the air again. Looking deep downfield. The Ferrari, Chris Dell Harris has it in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Rockstar Heather Fur looking like an MVP. Stayed in the pocket. 
waiting for Ferrari Harris to get open in the end zone. Watch the protection up front. Chister, Nawad, and Fagiano all day long prefer to throw. Chris Dell Harris makes a great catch in the end zone. The Ferrari can do it all, can't she? She can run, she can catch. Two plays, and we're up 6 nothing, Chicago. You know, we talk about her running ability, but last year she was one of the leading receivers in the LFL. The Bliss will go for the one-point conversion from the one-yard line. That's how we do it in the LFL. They're known for their quarterback sneaks. Let's see if they try it. And they do. Heather Rockstar fur into the end zone. The conversion is good. 7-0 Chicago with a minute and a half gone. Green Bay coach Gilbert Brown, you would think he would have studied the films and seen Chicago score every time on that quarterback sneak, and they weren't set up for it. They walked into the end zone for another point. Now the Green Bay offense will get their shot with quarterback Jessica Payton. Not great stats for Miss Payton. 15 out of 32, only a 51 rating. She's more of a runner. She got thrown into quarterback position when Andy Erla retired. She's a great athlete, but this offense that Coach Brown is running doesn't fit her style. First down for Green Bay from their own 15. We'll see what Payton and her offense can do. Payton will throw on first down. She looks deep. Picked off by Chicago. Dominique Collins with the interception, and Chicago has the ball back after one play. We mentioned Peyton is more of a runner than a thrower. Haysman is open deep, but she doesn't have the gun to get the ball down the field. Dominique Collins comes underneath, makes a great interception, but not a great play selection by Green Bay. Dominique Collins having a solid year. She doesn't get much publicity with all the superstars on this Chicago team, but Coach Brown, He's got to know his quarterback. She doesn't have that gun. If you're going to go throw deep, throw it on timing. Not that much in a play action where she can't throw the ball where it needs to go. Heather Furr in the Chicago offense starts their second drive from their own 14-yard line. Furr to the air again. Under pressure. Shovel pass. The Ferrari, Chris Dell Harris out over midfield. That's a play the Bliss has used all season long. Just shovel pass to Chris Dell Ferrari Harris. I think that's coming back. Looked like it was a clip. Our referee tonight is Roger Amon. We'll get the call from him in just a second. First, he has to discuss it with the Green Bay defense. Lock in the back. Number two on the offense, that's a 10-yard penalty from the spot. Replay, first down. Before tonight's game, we got a chance to talk to Chicago coach Keith Hack. He says, no way are they losing to Green Bay. Look, not in a million years are we going to lose this game to Green Bay, let's be honest. If this game is not 28 nothing at halftime, I'm going to kick the shit out of everybody in the locker room. You heard the man after the penalty, a net loss of two yards. Chicago will start there at their own 12. Heather Furr still with the ball on play action. Passes out to the right, just out of the reach of Jessica Price. Rockstar Furr, head Price, wide open, just overthrew her. Chicago's got their foot on the gas, up seven. Their second possession already in the first quarter. Before we get to second down, let's meet the Green Bay defense. Elizabeth Straczynski, middle linebacker. Amber McClellan, defensive end. Ayla Christman, defensive end. No, Janice Diaz, free set. Seth Fonzer, cornerback. Anna Hazeman, defensive back. Danielle Lucci, cornerback. The defensive line led by Amber McClellan. They have to get some pressure on Fur tonight. Heather Fur on second down. She'll swing the ball out near side. The Ferrari, Chris Dell Harris. Down to about the 21 yard line. Give her a gain of seven on the play. That was Dominique Collins who made the reception there. Chicago's throwing the ball a lot tonight. They have to get Heather Furr's arm playoff ready. Right now, she's not quite sharp, but they're going to throw all night on Coach Brown's defense. I'm so used to Fur to Ferrari that it was just locked into my head. Third down and five yards to go for Chicago now. Chris Del Harris is probably going to get a lot of looks tonight from Heather Furr because Allie Albers, the second year rookie of the year receiver, she's a little nicked up. They're going to hold her out tonight, so she's healthy going into the playoffs. Third down for Chicago. Collins gets the ball again around the right side, across midfield, and the first down for Chicago as the Rockstar 
and the Green Bay defense having a few words after the play. That's Amber McClellan getting in the Rockstar's face. She's tough. The Rockstar and her, I look for them to go head-to-head -head all night. But also, look for Chicago to distribute the ball to multiple backs. Dominique Collins right there. They have numerous running backs besides Crisdale Harris. Numerous backs can carry the ball. They're all going to see it tonight. First and 10 for Chicago inside Green Bay territory at the 23-yard line. Heather Furr will go back to pass again. She'll dump it over the middle, incomplete there. Looking for Dina Fagiano. Holly Gistra came back on a peelback block and got in the way of the pass. Speaking of Holly Gistra, she's excited to play against her old team. I'm not scared going against my old team because not if, but when I score, I'm gonna grape digger my ass all over that field. Hallie Gister was a solid player for Green Bay, now playing for the Chicago Bliss. She is going to love if they can rack up some points tonight against her old coach, Gilbert Brown. We'll bring up a second down for Heather Furr in the Chicago offense. Tina Fagiano with the inside handoff. Near side breaks a tackle. Inside the 10-yard line where she's pushed out of bounds. First down, Chicago. Dina Fagiano, we talked about her in the pregame show. Every time she touches the football, she is money. Every game, she seems to make big plays. They'll mark her out of bounds at the 11. Anna Hazeman still playing hard for the Green Bay defense. Came back and probably saved a touchdown right there. First down for Chicago at the 11. Nekanawani gets into the action. She'll power across the five-yard line to the two, carrying the entire Green Bay defense with her. Coach Hack gushed about Nekanawani and her untapped ability. She can run the ball. She can catch the ball. Tonight, she's going to get a lot of touches because they want to keep Crisdell Harris, the Ferrari, healthy going into the playoffs. Chicago can still get a first down. They're on the two-yard line, and it's second and one. Surprisingly, we haven't seen a lot of the Ferrari here on this drive. Not at all. They have a lot of ability at running back, as we mentioned. Heather Fur throwing the ball, trying to get her arm in shape for the playoffs. This game on paper shouldn't be close, so everybody's going to get a good look tonight for Chicago. The Ferrari will get the ball now on the pitch into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Power sweep to the left. Everybody went left, including Rockstar Fur leading the block, and Chris Del Harris inside the five-yard line. She is virtually unstoppable. Chicago will go for the one-point conversion as Gilbert Brown and the Green Bay Chill continue to look for answers. Down two scores, and we're not even out of the first quarter yet. Nobody on that Green Bay defense is looking good so far. They're going basic football. Chicago just pounding them right now. As you said earlier, Coach, Chicago is prone to do the quarterback sneak up the middle. Looks like they're setting up for it again. Heather Furr powers to the end zone. Conversion is good, but there's a flag on the play. Simply lack of concentration and focus by Chicago. If they don't win a championship, it's going to be because of stupid penalties like this. Rockstar Heather Furr doesn't look very happy, does she? Hey, come here! You were outside! Watch where the fucking ball is! Referee Roger Amon is discussing it with the rest of his crew, but Heather Furr's already made the call. They should have just asked Heather first. She knew what was going on. Oh, she's frustrated right now. She knows little penalties like this will kill them in the playoffs against teams like Los Angeles or Seattle. You can't, championship teams cannot make these kind of mistakes. You're taking, you're taking points off the board. The Green Bay crowd comes to life a little as Chicago takes a second shot at this conversion. Heather Fur will roll to her right. Rose towards the end zone and the pass is incomplete. And the attempt fails. The score remains 13 to nothing with under a minute left to go in the first quarter. That shows you what kind of leadership Heather Furr has. She is simply frustrated her own team right now, lining up off sides. Look at Coach Hack. Even though right now they have a lead, he knows these mistakes will kill them in the playoffs. Heather Furr is so competitive, even though Green Bay has only had one play on offense so far. This is their second play, and we're almost done with the first quarter. First and 10 for the chill from their own 15. Jessica Payton will throw. 
Now she's flushed out, she'll run to the 20. Across midfield, to the Chicago 20 where she's pushed out of bounds. That's what Jessica Payton gives you at quarterback. She is speed to burn at the quarterback position. Drop back in the pocket, nothing there. This is where she can kill you with her feet, not with her arm. Great run there by Jessica Payton. They will mark her out of bounds at the Chicago 21. It's a first down for Green Bay, and they'll go backwards. Full start, offense, number 20, five-yard penalty, replay, first down. Just when you think they get something going, Peyton with a big run, now they move backward, as you mentioned. And Gilbert Brown, this team just doesn't look fired up tonight. They have no spark right now. Peyton is the only thing that's working. As we approach the end of the first quarter, it's first and 15. Peyton, back to pass again. She'll run again. Inside the 20, inside the 15, inside the 10, and another flag down on the play. Another big play by Peyton, but it's coming back. Brought back in the pocket again. There's the hold right there, a grab, almost brought her down, which opened up the big hole for Peyton. But the quarterback draw, I don't even think she's trying to pass. It looks like more like a quarterback draw. She waits till the secondary goes deep, then she tucks it. Is that the answer for Gilbert Brown and the Green Bay Holding. offense? 13 on the offense. 10 yards from the spot, replay, first down. Well, Peyton is the whole offense. She, she can't throw the ball deep. The only thing she can do like that, it's almost playing like playing touch football on the street. Drop back, find a hole and run. Final play of the first quarter if they can get it off. But they're out of time. Chicago looks dominant, but a typical Midwestern slugfest. LFL football night, Chicago by two scores. LFL football night is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin as the Chicago Bliss looking for a playoff spot lead the Green Bay Chill by 13. Chet Buchanan and Bobby Huco as we start the second quarter. Green Bay has become really predictable on offense. They have no passing game, absolutely zero. So you know either Ponzer or Peyton's going to carry the ball. First down for Green Bay at the Chicago 21. It is Stephanie Ponzer with a carry. Inside the 10, out of bounds at the 7. Now let's meet the Green Bay offense. Amber McClellan, center. Teresa Garay, tight end. Suzanne Astrud, tight end. Amber Main, running back. Anna Hazeman, wide receiver. Seth Ponzer, wide receiver. Jessica Payton, quarterback. Anna Hazeman, she's got to be going nuts right now. One of the top receivers in the league. They haven't got her the ball all night. Stephanie Ponzer with the carry again. She'll get five yards on first and goal down to the two-yard line. Ponzer's a fireball. She's only 5-2 out of Oshkosh, Wisconsin, almost getting the end zone. Looks like she got a bruised chest on that play. Heather she's hurting Fur. a little bit. Heather Fur was the one who laid the wood on her. Heather Furr can do it all, can't she? You know what, we talk about her as a quarterback, but she's an all-league safety. She does it on both sides of the ball. Second and goal for Green Bay. Ponzer will get it and never really gets her feet moving. She'll be dragged down behind the line of scrimmage. Yashi Rice and Dominique Collins there first for Chicago. Ponzer at only 5-2. She had nowhere to go. We haven't talked about Chicago's defensive line all night. Yashi Rice and Chantel Taylor, two of the best in the game, coming on strong right there to shut down Green Bay. Ponds are not hurt. I think it's wardrobe malfunction, Bobby. I think you're right. She's having some problems with that top. Third down and goal. Trouble with the snap. Jessica Payton will just go down. They'll lose a bunch on that play as it starts to get a little chippy in Milwaukee. Chantel Taylor throwing some punches like she always does. A bad snap right there. Chicago. Should have fallen on the ball. Chantel Taylor tried to pick it up and run. Green Bay gets it back. But plays like that, that's Green Bay's whole season right there. Mistakes. Amber McClellan was the Green Bay player mixing it up there as well. We have a fumble recovery by Chicago. After the play, we have unsportsmanlike number 19, half the distance to the goal, first down, Chicago. So Chicago did get the ball. I thought Green Bay got it back, but after the play, of course, a personal foul by Chicago, but a big mistake by Green Bay. They could have cut the lead 
to one score. They gave the ball back to the Bliss. Whatever fire the Green Bay Chill may have had heading into the second quarter might have just been extinguished by that botched play right down on the goal line. Well, Amber McClellan, she never got the ball up to Peyton. They fumbled the snap. I thought they recovered, but they didn't. A huge turnover. And Chicago again, here we go. They got the ball. It could have been a tight game. Big, big mistake by Green Bay. Burr will hand off to the Ferrari. She'll take the ball outside the five up to the eight yard line. Teresa Garay was there on the stop for Green Bay. Those numbers say it all. Simply the best in the business. 276 yards, over eight yards per carry. Every year, Chris Del Harris is an all fantasy back. Second down for Chicago as the rock star Heather Furr brings her team to the line. Jessica Price will get it this time. First down yardage and more for Chicago out to the 20-yard line. A gain of 12 and a first down for the Bliss. We talked about Jessica Price. She has come into her own in the last couple games. Early in the season, she was making rookie mistakes, fumbling the ball twice, not jumping on the reco to recover the ball. She's coming back. As we mentioned, as the playoffs come around, Coach Hack gets all his players, like Jessica Price, ready to play. First down, Chicago at their own 20-yard line. Heather Furr back to throw. She'll swing it out to the Ferrari. Chris Dell Harris breaks free into the secondary. A stiff arm. She's wide open to the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. It's great to see Rockstar Furr completing touchdown passes to Ferrari. She breaks four tackles. Count them four. One, two, three, four. Unbelievable run by Chris Del Harris, showing why she's the best out there. And just like that, Chicago Bliss 19, Green Bay nothing with the extra points still to come. You have to keep your claws sharp, getting ready for these playoffs. And right now, Harris is sharp. She has everything plus. Three plays, 44 yards in just a minute 52. You think Heather Fur and the quarterback sneak, or is Green Bay wise to it yet? No, they're lined up on the three. They're actually going for two this time, the first time in a long time. Trying to go up 21, a counter play to the Ferrari. She is stopped at the goal line, and the extra point attempt is no good. That was all set up by the previous touchdown where they had points taken off the board by a penalty. So trying to make up for that point, Coach Hack went for two there, and that failed too. Chicago's up three scores. Let's listen in on the sideline. She kicked me in the huddle. She kicked me in the huddle. Who? Just that bitch. Which one? Coach. All the all the Miss Piggy kicked me in the huddle. I've never seen Coach Hack so happy during a game. He knows his team has way more talent than Green Bay. And at this point, you have to start wondering, what does Green Bay still have to play for? Tonight's game is all about our Coach Gilbert and the rest of the coaching staff. They've gone above and beyond for us this whole season, and we really want to win this game for them. No question about this. Green Bay team loves Coach Gilbert Brown, but Coach Gilbert Brown, I don't think, has had one of his most outstanding years as a coach. And Green Bay will go backwards again on first down. It's a false start penalty. Once again, referee Roger Amon. False start, offense, five-yard penalty, replay, first down. Another bad mistake by Green Bay. We're talking about Coach Brown, and, and this team just doesn't look sharp. He doesn't look sharp right now. There's no fire in this team. Peyton's the only one playing good. And even that comes into question a little bit. She has trouble throwing the ball. We'll see what the Green Bay offense will do here. First and 15 from their own 10. Peyton will throw. Flushed out again. She'll try and let it loose down the sideline. The pass falls incomplete. We're mixing it up again in Green Bay. Yashi writes, she will throw all night long. Dominique Collins, she's not scared to throw a punch. And Chantel Taylor, you know she'll, she'll go at it all night long. As Jessica Payton and the Green Bay offense continue to look for answers, it looks like they will be going backwards yet again. Let's get the call from referee Roger Amon.
We have an un incomplete pass after the play. We have an unsportsmanlike number 18 on the offense. She is out for one series. Teresa Garay, she threw a punch. I'm not sure that was the right call. I think she just responded by getting punches thrown at her by Yashi Rice. Sometimes it's a second punch that gets called. I think that's what happened right there. Isn't that what they always tell you? It's always the second one that gets caught, coach. That'll make it second and 20. Back at their own five yard line for Green Bay. Passes woefully behind the receiver, almost picked off. Intended for Anna Hazeman. Deandra Fry almost had the pick six. That's number four. She's one of the fastest defensive backs in the league. Great play right there. Again, not a great pass by Peyton. She's a wide receiver playing quarterback. That ball was well behind a wide receiver. Third down and a bunch for Green Bay. Peyton will throw again. Flushed out to her right. She better get rid of it. She does. It falls at the feet of any one of three receivers. Nick and Nwani there, almost with the safety in the end zone. Jessica Payton, great athlete. They blitzed her. Everybody coming out. She gets rid of it. Almost completed the pass. Takes a shot against the wall. She's just not a quarterback. She's a great athlete. She's playing the quarterback position because they have nobody else after the great Annie Erler retired. She just doesn't look comfortable throwing the ball. She is an outstanding wide receiver. I wish they had somebody else that could play quarterback and throw the ball to her. Fourth down, they need to get to midfield. Peyton will throw, steps up in the pocket. She'll wing it out to the right side. Pass is complete. It won't be enough for the first down, but it's complete to Anna Hazeman. 12 yards out to the 17, but Chicago will take over on down. Anna Hazeman rated one of the great all-time receivers in the LFL, totally frustrated this year, not getting the ball enough, but that's the way, the way she's needed tonight. Underneath, settling down in a hole, and right there, Peyton threw her a strike. Great play by Green Bay, finally. The Chicago offense with Heather Rockstar Fur leading by three scores in business, 242 clock running in the first half in Milwaukee. They'll start out first and 10 at the Green Bay 17. Chris Dell Harris with the pitch. Met there and hit hard at the 20. She'll power down to the 15 yard line. After all of that, a gain of two. Who made that big hit, coach? I don't even know if you can call that a tackle. Watch this. Chris Dell Harris delivers the hit. Gillis Diaz. I, I, that's not even called a tackle. That's just slowing her down a little bit. Second down and eight yards. The Ferrari looking more like a Mack truck on that wow. run. You just heard the man. Should be the two minute warning here in Milwaukee. There's the whistle from the referee. When we come back, two minutes left to go in Milwaukee in the first half. The Chicago Bliss with rock star Heather Furr and Chris Dell, the Ferrari Harris, up by three scores and rolling towards a playoff spot. LFL football night. Welcome back to US Cellular Arena in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. LFL football night. Two minutes left to go in the first half. Chet Buchanan and Bobby Huco at Chicago up three scores. Coach Hack feeling pretty good. In fact, during the break, took a couple shots at Green Bay's coach Gilbert Brown. Plus the Grave Digger on him. Oh boy, Grave Digger. I dare you. Hey, start by catching the ball, <laughs> yeah. then scoring, then dancing. Off a line, let's hold, let's hold. Good blocks now. Good blocks, all right? Wow, John Witt and Coach Hack, they're actually treating it like a scrimmage. They're talking about scoring and then sticking it right in Coach Gilbert Brown, the grave digger's face. Good coaching though. First, catch the ball. Second down and eight for the Chicago offense at the Green Bay 15. Play action, Burr to the end zone. Pass is incomplete, intended there for Halle Jistra. Stephanie Ponzer on the defense for Green Bay. Holly Gister trying to stick it right in her old team's face. She didn't catch the ball first, and it's coming really? back. No pass interference on that? Seriously? You spent too much time on the diamond today. Third down for Chicago as the Ferrari brings the ball near side. She'll get five yards down to the 10. Do you believe Coach Hack? Coach Hack is going right at everybody. He's having fun. I like to see this. Usually he's all over. He's all pissed off at everybody. Tonight he's having fun. Will we get to see the grave digger or not? 
fourth down and three yards to go at the Green Bay 10 yard line. The give to Harris, to the five, pushing for the end zone. Is she in? Touchdown, Chicago. They can't stop her. She is simply unstoppable. Kara Alexander actually had her, but the Ferrari carried her, carried her right into the end zone. That girl is simply the best in the LFL. Heather for a lead block and gets a little block right there. Wow. Kara Alexander gets pancaked into the end zone. 25 to nothing, Chicago. And we have yet to make it to halftime. The extra point conversion coming. We didn't get to see the grave digger. I'm a little disappointed. This Green Bay team, they are flat tonight. They simply have nothing in them. This is going to be a blowout tonight. Heather Furr, as expected, the quarterback sneak. She'll get into the end zone with little resistance from Green Bay until after the play is over. Heather Furr, here we go. Is she going to talk to the crowd? She is talking to the crowd. Is she getting a beer? She is getting a beer. <laughs> This Cheers is, to the crowd. This is right in the Grave Diggers' faith. How embarrassing. The opposing quarterback drinking a beer after a touch. I've never seen that in the history of sports. I love it, though. That That's is the biggest rock star move at any level of football that I have ever seen. Chicago is simply putting it on Coach Brown and Green Bay right now. I feel like having a beer right now, Chet. I wonder if Heather First could pass one up to us as well. What can Green Bay do here with a minute 10 left in the half down, 26 nothing? Jessica Payton will go back to pass again. Swing it out near side. Anna Hazeman makes the reception for Green Bay. Smart throw by Payton. She's having trouble throwing it deep, just throwing it flat like that. You have all fantasy receiver, Anna Hazeman. Let her do her thing, just get the ball in her hand. Smart play by Payton. Stops the clock with 101 left to go in the first half. It's second down and two yards to go for Green Bay at their own 23-yard line. Peyton again to pass. Over the middle, picked up and dropped. Kim Perez should have had the interception. It slipped through her grasp. Kim Perez trying to be too fancy on that one. Just catch the ball. She's a great player, had the pick. She just dropped it. Green Bay needs to get something going here. Less than a minute to go in the first half now. Down a bunch. You want to score before halftime. Third and two. Peyton to pass again. Flushed out of the pocket. She's looking deep. That ball tipped, coach. Now she's just not a quarterback. I mean, again, she could have stayed in the pocket. She rolled out. Nobody there. She threw it up for grabs. And one of the fastest players in the league, she, she almost picked it off right there. And the now. Andrew Fry, well, she did get hit. You're right. She got hit. But Fry should, should have picked that ball off. Fourth down. They need midfield. They'll run with Stephanie Ponzer. She's not gonna get it, Stop short. Mixing it up again. Look at little Amber McClellan for Green Bay. She's still fired up. 5-1 Amber McClellan going against 5-9 Chantel Taylor. Amber, go back to the huddle. That's a fight you don't wanna get into. When you're down 26 nothing and you're Amber McClellan, you'll take the victories wherever you can get them. That's not gonna be a victory against Chantel Taylor. I like the fight, though. These, these two teams, it's, it's a blowout right now, but they're fighting we each other. We got short of the first down. However, after the play, we got offset and penalties. Unsportsmanlike number nine, unsportsmanlike number 18. Those penalties are offset after the play. First down, Chicago. This crowd does not like that call. Here we go, Chicago talking trash to the crowd. They got that swag going. You got to like that. This is the old Chicago team that won the championship last year. You also have to remember, Green Bay fans are proud football fans. They don't like what they're seeing on the field. They don't like what they're getting out of the coach, Gilbert Brown. And they don't like losing the fights either. Gilbert Brown, you're absolutely right. It, I feel sorry for Coach Brown right now. Here's one of the greatest Green Bay Packers of all time. He's, his team is not playing good at all. The double reverse on first down to Dominique Collins. She'll get six yards out of that inside the 20 down to the 18. Coach Gilbert Brown has always said, if you have somebody down, step on their throat and don't let them up. Coach Hack is doing that to Coach Brown right now, going for the jugular. And to your point, Coach, 
Coach Hack has called a timeout up 26 points with 35.8 seconds left to go in the first half. Let's see what he's got on his mind. What play? The, the one we talked about. The, 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 the Nani one. Yeah. Okay, so listen, strong right. Strong right, we're going Nani, you're in the flats. Uh -huh. Y, go, Z, skinny seven. Listen, if you throw it to Nani and you catch it over here, as you're running down, don't cut back inside. Under center. You want to get to the wall if you have yes. to, to stop the clock. Coach Hack definitely going for the jugular. I can't believe it. He wants more points. He's trying to get the ball to Neka Nawani, and he says if you can't get in the end zone, run out of bounds and stop the clock. It's one of those deals where they call her Nani. I don't think I can get away with that. Rockstar Heather Fur back to pass. Look over Neka Nawani. She'll get flushed out, run inside the 15, stapled against the boards there. Green Bay's defense, they had that play stuffed. There was nothing there. Nawani was double covered. Heather Fur tried to make something out of nothing, got a couple yards. Heather Fur with more choice words for the Green Bay defense at the end of that play. Third down and a yard to go inside 30 seconds in the first half here in Milwaukee. Chicago Bliss up 26 on the Green Bay Chill. I talked about the swag with Chicago. You would think they think this game's over, not play. They're trying to score more points with 28 seconds left in the half. Fur will throw on third down. Shovel pass to Harris. She'll get down to the 10 where she's pushed down there. And as she tries to get up, she's shoved down again by the Green Bay defense. That was Elizabeth Straczynski, coach. Straczynski that time, Amber McClellan last time. They're going to stop these cheap shots on Chicago. Chicago hurries to the line on first and goal. They'll spike it there, like you said, trying to put their foot on Green Bay's throat. They are, and you know what? I don't blame them right there. They threw down Christelle Harris. That's like pushing Michael Jordan back down. She is the league. She's an all-star. She's going to be Hall of Famer, and they're trying to throw her down after a play. That's just cheap. Time for one more play in the first half. It's second down and goal after the Heather first spike on first down. Chicago is at the Green Bay 10-yard line. They want to score again, up 26. What's the Rockstar going to do here? She'll throw. Back across the field. Pass falls incomplete, intended for Jessica Price. And we'll end the half with Chicago up 26-0, coach. That's a shame. She had her open for a touchdown, just missed her. One half is in the books at U.S. Cellular Arena in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The playoff-bound Chicago Bliss are steamrolling Green Bay in their own building. Chicago Bliss 26, Green Bay Chill, nothing. LFL Football Night. We are getting our ass kicked. For the first fucking time this year, we are getting our ass kicked. Now you can sit down here and take this shit, or you can go out there and play like I know you can play. A very visibly angry and very understandably angry Coach Gilbert Brown trying to light a fire in an otherwise dismal Green Bay Chill locker room with his team down 26 to nothing at halftime in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is LFL Football Night. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Chet Buchanan along with Coach Bobby Huco. And at this point, Coach, is Green Bay playing for anything? The only thing, Chet, they can play for, as Coach Brown said, is pride. They're completely out of the playoff picture. But you can't win committing turnovers and allowing Chicago to rack up 155 yards in the first half. The only person playing good is Jessica Payton. Everybody else, so-so. Chicago is rolling, obviously not missing the presence of their second-year star wideout, Allie Alberts. They're cruising right now. It looks like a glorified scrimmage as the Bliss get ready for the playoffs. Absolutely. Coach Hack, if I was him, going into playoffs, you don't want to have any of your players nicked up. It might be time to put Rockstar Fur and Ferrari Harris on the sidelines for the second half. As we said, all Chicago in the first half. Let's check out the scoring. Early in the first quarter, they let the Ferrari out of the garage right away as she hooks up with Rockstar Heather Fur on this 25-yard touchdown reception. A short time later, she adds to the scoring. A two-yard touchdown run, and the Chicago lead is 13. And just when you thought they couldn't do any more, the Ferrari and the Rockstar, it's Fur to Harris. Another touchdown through the air, and then to end the half, 
It's Groundhog Day in the Green Bay Chill Nightmares. A 10-yard touchdown run just before the half. That brings our score to Chicago 26. Green Bay getting shut out at home. Let's take a look at the first half stats. This one's easy. Green Bay's defense is almost non-existent, giving up 155 yards in the first half. Chicago is dominating the time of possession. We're going to see in the second half if Green Bay doesn't throw that white talent. Well, I hope not, because we still have 16 minutes of football left. Will Green Bay be able to find some heart in the second half as the Chicago Bliss are cruising towards a playoff spot? From Milwaukee, Wisconsin, LFL Football Night. Your second half kickoff is coming up. Next. LFL football night is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, as the Chicago Bliss, rolling towards a playoff spot, lead the hometown Green Bay Chill by 26. I'm Chet Buchanan with the coach Bobby Yuko. This is how bad it's going for Green Bay tonight. All fantasy running back Chris Del Harris has tripled the output of Anna Hazeman. Wow. And that's in receiving, not in running in receiving. The good news for Green Bay is they will get the ball to start the second half. Stephanie Ponzer is deep to receive the kick. She'll take the ball at the one. Out across the 15 to midfield. Stephanie Ponzer, maybe there is a sign of life for Green Bay. Great return, great blocking. They had the alley right up the gut. Ponzer almost broke this. Watch this, there's the block and kick out blocks on both sides. Opens a huge hole, a great cut by Ponzer. She almost took it coast to coast. The Green Bay offense is in business at the Chicago 21. They're down 26. They'd like to score quickly. There's a whole half here, who knows? That could be the spark they needed. Green Bay will start at the Chicago 21. They need points in a hurry, and they're not going to get them that way as Stephanie Ponzer is swarmed under for a one-yard loss. Great play by Neka Nawani. Watch this. She shoves the blocker back in the backfield, make a great stick right now. With plays like that, the win probability for Green Bay is zero. You can score a lot of points in a big hurry in the LFL. Green Bay needs to get something going now with a second down and 11. Peyton in the shotgun, she'll throw. And she swarmed under, sacked. Yashi Rice got there first, and now she's talking crazy to the Green Bay offense. The bookend, Chantel Taylor and Yashi Rice, they met at the quarterback for a big sack for Chicago. Keith Hack is upset. That's the Keith Hack we know and love. Unsportsmanlike, after the play, number 20. That's a 10-yard penalty, automatic, first down. Motherfucker! God damn it! Don't say a fucking word! Watch out! God damn it! You know, we talked about it earlier in the game. These are the kind of mistakes that will cost them a championship this year. Every game, they have these personal fouls, unsportsmanlike penalties every game. First down for Green Bay. Peyton will run to the 10 yard line. Flag down on this play as well. That's going to come back. You mentioned Peyton. I mean, she's got the skills, but it is coming back. If they could get one score in, that could turn this whole game around. There's a whole half. Look at the difference between Coach Gilbert Brown on the sidelines for Green Bay and Coach Hack. Would you be able to tell which one was up 26 right now? That looks like a beaten coach right there. We talked about, is he coming back to coach next year? Holding, number nine on the offense, 10-yard penalty, replay, first down. That look there says it all. That is not a guy that's excited about tonight, and who knows what his future is here in Green Bay. And not very excited with his team going backwards on offense. First down and 20 now as they go back to their own 21-yard line. A coach's personality usually reflects in its team's play. And right now, Coach Hack's personality is all fire. And Chicago's playing with fire, and Coach Brown's team has no fire. On first and 20, Jessica Payton will run for her life again. Out across midfield, she'll pick up five yards to the Chicago 24. At least some positive output for the Green Bay offense. Well, Jessica Payton, she's playing her heart out tonight. Heather first playing great on defense, but Payton's the only spark on offense tonight for Green Bay. Got a little chunk of it back after the penalty, second down and 15 to go now. Go. 
Peyton looking to throw. She'll dump it out to the wide side. Not a whole lot there for Anna Hazeman. They're calling it no game. Watch Peyton's eyes. She shows where she's going to throw the ball in Chicago's defense right there. They're trying to get the ball in Hazeman's hands. I don't blame them for that, but there's no, there's no read. I mean, it's, she's showing with her eyes where the ball is going to go. Good halftime adjustment, too, by Coach Hack and the Chicago defense. They knew that play was coming because that's the one play that has worked for Absolutely. Green Bay tonight. Coach Hack knows what he's doing. Third and 15 for Green Bay at midfield. Play fake, play action. Two receivers there, and neither one of them can get a hand on the ball. Chicago came with a full blitz. Peyton made a great throw against the blitz. Wide open in the flat. They couldn't catch the ball. They could have walked in backwards for six. For a minute there, I thought it was a pretty great defensive play. It was just two receivers running into each other. And it was a great read by Peyton. They came with a blitz. You throw where the blitzer came from, and they just didn't catch the ball. Fourth down for Green Bay. They need to get to the Chicago nine. Peyton will throw, bat it in the air, falls incomplete. Chicago will take over on downs. Right now, it looks like Green Bay is slated for Crashville. They, this is just not a football team tonight. Chantel Taylor got her hands on it, and the Bliss are in business yet again, up 26. If you're Green Bay right now, you play for pride. We talked about that. But there's just no spark on the offense. Last year with Annie Erler, she kept you by herself personally in every game. This year, it's hard to watch. Hard to believe that one player could make such a difference. Heather Furr and the Chicago offense start out at their own 24. The pitch to the Ferrari. Chris Della Harris down to about the 15-yard line. Their favorite play, student body left with Furr leading the block. They give it to Harris. She doesn't need any space. She makes her own holes. But how long do you need to leave the Ferrari in the game? She, you don't want one of your stars getting hurt. This game's a blowout right now. Ferrari is the team on offense as a running back. You keep her in or you, what do you do? You talked about it at halftime, coach. You don't want to leave Heather Fur in there too long. You don't want to leave Chris Dell Harris in there too long. Although the Ferrari did pick up 10 yards and a first down. The Bliss in business at the Green Bay 16. Heather Fur will keep. Making a move inside the five. She'll get down to the two-yard line. Another first down for Chicago. Heather Furr, she's a great runner in space. One of their pet plays used to be the option play right down the line. Just like this, you fake it the pitch, you cut it up right there, tuck the ball. Heather Furr, rock star Furr, doing what she does best. Chicago using all the tools in their arsenal. They have another first and goal. About three minutes left to go in the third quarter, up 26. Ball is loose. Green Bay has it. Finally, something right for the Green Bay chill. Heather Fur, undisciplined, taking that snap. She pulled out too quick. The ball was snapped. She didn't have it in her hands. And this again, Chicago makes these kinds of mistakes. She pulls out early. Watch, the ball's up. She pulls out. It's not there. Green Bay's ball. Laura Jealous Diaz made a six-yard return with that fumble. The Green Bay offense will take another shot at it from their own eight yard line. There's still time, coach, but they've got to score on this drive. Big turnover, big pickup for Green Bay. They only need 26. First and 10, Green Bay. Peyton. Pass is complete. Susan Asterud. It's only a three yard gain. It looked like a lot more than that because Peyton was so deep in the formation. That's a confidence builder though. She completed the pass. She stayed poised in her pocket, delivered a strike to Astrud. Positive yards. Let's see if they can get a score right here. Kim Perez made the stop for Chicago. Second down and seven. This time she'll hand off to Stephanie Ponzer. Nice move inside. Ponzer with six yards out across the 15-yard line. Reaching for the first down, she'll be just short. Ponzer runs with a lot of heart. The only problem is I wish they would get her to right size top. She's been adjusting that all night long, and it's been effective running at the end of the play. Officially a yard to go, but it's more like six inches. Can Green Bay convert the first down here? They're only 26 down. They need a score right now. Pitch to Ponzer. 
Could she get the first down? No, she's met there and hit hard by Dominique Collins. Dominique Collins coming off the edge. He shed the wide receiver, came up with a big hit. Dominique Collins. Watch safety, Heather Furr come up, forced to play outside, and then Collins finishes it on the outside. Fourth down now, Green Bay at the very least needs to convert this first down, down 26, a minute left to go in the third quarter. Jessica Payton will run for it. She's really close to the first down. Does she have it, coach? She does, only because of a great downfield block by Amber McClellan, who got her the extra yard. A first down and the Green Bay chill offense stays on the field. They'll continue their drive at their own 19 yard line. 41 seconds to go, clock running in the third quarter, down 26. There's no hurry in, when they're in a huddle. They're down 26, they should be having a no huddle offense right now. One would think you might be moving a little bit. On first down, they'll pitch to Kara Alexander. Where's she been all game? Inside the Chicago 20, a 14 year old gain on first down. Alexander showing SEC speed around the corner. Heather Fur throws her through the player door into the bench. Again, we talk about her as a quarterback, but she is mean on defense. That should be the end of the third quarter. It doesn't look like Green Bay is going to be able to get to the line and get this playoff. And they will not. That's the end of the third quarter with the Chicago Bliss rolling towards the playoff, leading by 26 in Green Bay. The rock star looking like the MVP on offense and crushing them on D. Fourth quarter coming up. Welcome back to Milwaukee. Chet Buchanan and the coach Bobby Huco. Green Bay trails by 26 to the number one team in the LFL, led by the Ferrari. You need to control your emotions, young lady. Control your emotions. You guys are getting out of hand. Your stomach is out of hand. Your stomach is out of hand. Hey, I got all the touchdowns, though. Bitch! Good job, Furbo. Chris Dell Harris doing it all tonight, talking trash and backing it up. You gotta love the way she competes. She's leading in rushing. I believe she's leading in receiving. She's definitely leading in the trash talk. Absolutely. That was fantastic. And old Furball right there is having a good night, too. On the other side of the ball, the Green Bay offense was starting to show signs of life as we reached the end of the third quarter. They have a first and 10 at the Chicago 17. Jessica Payton brings her team to the line. She'll go back to pass. Payton swings it out to the right. Stephanie Ponzer was met there once again by Dominique Collins. Ponzer looks good though. The little speed pass in the back and a flat. That's a good offensive scheme though. You get the ball to Ponzer. It's like, a, it's like a Ponzer scheme. I like that. <laughs> a five-yard gain to the Chicago 12. It's second and five. Ponzer back to the line of scrimmage. She might have gotten one. Met there by Dominique Collins and Chantel Taylor. It's tough to get outside of Chantel Taylor. She comes off the edge. She contains better than anyone in the league. Ponzer got positive yards. I got to give credit. They do have sparks on these last two offensive drives. Kara Alexander, and now we got Ponzer doing well. Third down and four. Hayton, quarterback draw. Inside the 10, inside the five, to the two yard line. Green Bay's got something rolling right now. They had man to man coverage. A quarterback draw was a great call because nobody accounts for the quarterback. Watch, she steps back, but nobody's got her. Nobody's got the quarterback in man to man coverage. Great call by Green Bay. A first and goal at the Chicago two. Is there enough time for the Green Bay chill to get back in it? No. 
There could be. Six and a half minutes left to go, Coach. You can score fast in this league. They can, but they haven't proved it all night. They're not on the board. Jessica Payton in the shotgun. Offside, free play for Green Bay. She'll roll right, throw to the end zone, incomplete. Pass was intended for Laura Jeles Diaz. What was her name again? Laura Jeles Diaz. She's French, coach. I like that French pronunciation. Gotta put a little je ne sais quoi on it. That was good, but Payton made a good play right there. It was a free play. Nobody was open, she couldn't throw it to anybody. Let's find out why Coach Hack has called timeout. Wake the fuck up! There's a slot, she's sitting there, nobody's covering her! Wake the fuck up! God damn it! Coach Hack does not care that it's 26 to nothing. That's not a sound defense. Somebody was not covered, it would have been an easy score, so he called timeout. He is a great coach. He, he could have let that slide, talk to him after the game. He said, nope, he's gonna correct him right now. Not sure what the Green Bay coaching staff has to laugh about. Down 26, Holly Jiskra and some of the Chicago starters starting to take them out. Yeah, we talked about that at halftime. That's a smart move. You don't want your starters getting hurt this late in the season. The Green Bay crowd comes alive as they have a second and goal from the two. Peyton to the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Anna Hazeman. Peyton looked like a quarterback, a blitz. She saw the blitz, they ran a quick post against man coverage. Great throw by Peyton. Finally, the Green Bay Chill Faithful have something to cheer about. They look sharp on this drive. They're playing with a lot of confidence. They're laughing, having fun in the huddle. Where was this in the first quarter? Still just under six minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. There might be time. There just might be time. Still a lot of time left, five minutes and 45 seconds. If they get in here, inside of four minutes, they can start trying onside kicks. Peyton fumbles the snap, the ball is loose. The extra point attempt will be no good. There's a flag on the play. Green Bay catches a break. Offside, number 19 on the defense. Half the distance to the goal. Replay the one trying prize. Chantel Taylor trying to get in a little bit too quick. Now, I would try that Chicago play, the famous quarterback slip knee, because you're almost in the end zone anyway. Jessica Payton's been a good runner tonight. Why not do that here? Then again, if Chicago knows how to run it, they probably know how to defend it. What will Green Bay do here? Down 20. Payton tries the sneak, she stopped. Finds Stephanie Ponzer in the end zone. Extra point is good. Wow, the girl's bringing that milkshake to the yard. What a play by Peyton. She knows how to improvise. That play was stopped, and she found Ponzer in the end zone. They've been waiting all night to do that. You've been waiting all night to say it. Everybody finally got a chance. Green Bay with signs of life with 5.27 left to go in the ball game. It's not over. I hate to say it, but it is not over. If they get the ball back, they're only three scores down. Unfortunately for Green Bay, Chicago will get the ball on offense, and you gotta try and stop the Ferrari and Heather Rockstar fur. And they haven't done it all night, but let's see, that might have fired up this defense. Chicago starts out at their own 15. The pitch to Harris, drops it, picks it back up. Finds her way out to the 23-yard line. This is how you stop the Ferrari. Great play by Ferrari picking the ball, but watch Lucci, that form tackle. Get down low, get in front of her, wrap her up and put her on the ground. Great tackle by Danielle Lucci. They'll say the Ferrari was down at the 21. Second down and four for Chicago. They're not trying to run the clock out. They're trying to score. Look at that intensity in the huddle. Yeah, they want to get this play just right on second and four. Jory Paris will get the ball on the inside handoff. Enough for a first down across midfield for Chicago. With a win tonight, Chicago sitting on top. They'll be 3 0 with that tie against Seattle. Seattle still got a shot. Watch out for the LA Temptation. Las Vegas and Green Bay, they'll be going home for the holidays. Still have the rest of this game to finish up first with 4 0 4 left to go in the fourth quarter. The Bliss once again with a 26 7 lead on the road in Milwaukee against the Green Bay Chill. First down just across midfield on the Green Bay 24. 
The rock star, Heather Fur with the pitch to the Ferrari, Chris Del Harris. Tough yards down to the 21 yard line, a gain of three. I'm really surprised Coach Hack still has the Ferrari in the game. He's got Fur, Furball still in, all the starters. That's what you don't want, her on the ground. You know what, I thought you were my lover boy. You ain't getting none after the game. Wow, I thought she was hurt. And she's just joking with the ref. I guess if you become lover boys and lover girl, you can get the ref to make the right calls. Chicago in cruise control with 3.15 clock running in the fourth quarter up 26-7. It's second down and seven. Big sigh of relief though that the, that the Ferrari Chris Del Harris wasn't hurt. Heather Fur will keep the ball here, down to the 15 yard line. Straight option, you don't want to see Fur on the ground either. They had a straight option coming down the right side. She cut it back, got positive yards, but I still don't like their starters in the game this late in the game. The more you mention it, the more it bothers me. The more, the scarier it gets. If, if she gets nicked up a little bit, Heather Fur, her backup quarterback is Allie Albert. She's not even in uniform tonight. They were resting her tonight from what we understand. No injury report on Allie Alberts. But still, you want Heather Fur in the game, go to the playoffs. You want Chris Dell Harris in the game, go to the playoffs. You don't need him in the game in a 26-7 blowout. Fur will pitch to Harris again, straight up the middle, inside the 10, inside the five, reaching for the goal line, just short at the two yard line of first down for Chicago and the Ferrari. The Ferrari is unbelievable. Great cut up inside, great downfield block, and she almost gets it in. I, don't, I gotta believe these two do not want to be taken out. Chris Del Harris, 56 yards tonight, sit over six yards to carry two TDs, another stellar night. Two minutes to go in Milwaukee as the Chicago Bliss are headed for the playoffs, looking for more scores and laying the wood on Green Bay. Two minutes left to go from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Chet Buchanan and the coach Bobby Huco as Heather Rockstar Fur, Coach Keith Hack, and the Chicago Bliss lead the Green Bay Chill 26 to seven in what may be Gilbert Brown's last game. Next week, we travel to the farm in Omaha, Nebraska as Tamar Fennell and the Toledo Crush head into Omaha to take on Lindsey Noble and the Omaha Heart. That hard offense starting to gel. Should be a fun game. The Chicago offense has been jelly all game as Heather Fur gets the ball into the end zone to Dominique Collins. Another touchdown for Chicago. Great sight adjustment by Heather Fur and Collins. Nobody covered her out there. That wasn't the play selection. Anytime a receiver goes uncovered, no matter what the play call is, just throw her the football like Heather Fur did right there. Great play. I'm sure if we'd have turned up Heather Fur's mic, right there at that play. You'd have heard somebody yelling, hot route, hot route. You don't, have to, you don't even have to say that. It's yeah. decided they look, it's all eye communication. It's like, nobody's on me, throw me the ball. Chicago will go for the one point conversion. Up 32 to seven. Ball snapped over Fur's head. Picked up by Elizabeth Straczynski. That's a dead ball, isn't it coach? That's dead. I don't know what that was all about, but that's a dead football. That's a dead ball. That's a dead ball. Read your fucking rules. You read your rules. It's a dead ball. At least once a game, the center for Chicago, that time was Dana Olsen, snapped the ball way over Heather Fur's head. If we bet every time on your game check, you'd be owing me for the next five years. Wow, Coach Hack is getting into it. This game is over 32 to 7, but they're fighting words right there by Keith Hack. Who's he woofing at right there, coach? The he, ref? He's woofing at the ref, he's woofing at the players, and Gilbert Brown, he's into it tonight. Green Bay Chill will start out on their own 15 with a minute 49 left to go, clock running in the fourth quarter. Jessica Payton throws deep, almost picked off again. And we get a chance to call Lindsey Michalecki's name tonight. Michalecki, she's a great cornerback, doesn't get a lot of time in that Chicago defense. Good to see her on the field. Second down for Green Bay from their own 15. Right now you just hope nobody gets hurt. Peyton, play action. Rolls right, looking to throw. Back across the middle. Pass is complete to Anna Hazeman out to midfield. Solid play by Anna Hazeman. Right there, Peyton getting all kinds of pressure, comes across her body 
finds Hazeman wide open in the middle of the field. Those two have had solid nights tonight for Green Bay. Peyton's best throw of the night, Coach? Absolutely. Across her body, you're told not to do that. But when you're throwing to Hazeman, give her a shot. First down with a minute to go for Green Bay at midfield. Peyton will go back to pass again. She's picked off. Lindsey Michalecki. And that is that. Peyton's got to know her groceries. you got to know who's in the game. You don't throw at Michalecki. She's one of the best safeties in the game right now. Throw away from her. Bad play by Peyton. Things only a coach would say. you got to know your groceries. you got to know who's in the game. you got to study defenses, and you don't throw at Michalecki. She's a great safety. You're putting together the meal. you got to know your you groceries. you got to know the groceries, and you don't throw toward Michalecki. And a great night for the Chicago Bliss offense. Heather first looked like the MVP. Just win, baby. That's all Fur does. Another rock solid night. Six out of 11 with another passing rating off the charts. Heather Fur will take a knee. The Green Bay crowd doesn't like it very much, but Chicago's going to walk away with their victory. But what happens to this Green Bay team, this Green Bay franchise, and their coach Gilbert Brown after a loss like this tonight? That's the question everybody wants to answer. Gilbert Brown, who knows if he's coming back? They had a terrible year. The team didn't play good. I hate to say it, I mean, he thought it was going to be good, but when you lose the player caliber of Annie Erler, it's tough to rebound from that, and it showed all year. And when Coach Brown had Ann Erler at quarterback, he did a lot of talking, a lot of talking. Is that coming back to haunt him now, Coach? Absolutely. When you have great talent around you, great players, you can wolf, you can talk a lot of trash, what Gilbert Brown did. But now, this year, with Green Bay playing so bad, here it is on their home turf, Chicago dancing right in their face. Insult to injury. And that's the last thing you want, is somebody dancing on your field as the final horn sounds. Great working with you tonight, partner. I'll see you next week in Omaha. Your final score, the number one team in the LFL, the Chicago Bliss, headed for the playoffs. Dancing, styling, profiling. A 32-7 win over the Green Bay Chill. Chicago going to the playoffs. The Green Bay Chill, their coach, their team, their franchise in jeopardy. Thank you for watching LFL Football Night. Cheers to our producer, Connor Schofield, our director, Brian Castaldo. Our executive producer is Mitch Mortaza. For the coach, Bobby Huco, I'm Chet Buchanan. Chicago shows Green Bay the door. We'll see you next week on LFL Football Night.